Steve, that seems to be an England team that's learning pretty quickly. Yeah, I, th I think we took some steps forward today, um, and I think that's that's an important thing to recognise. But there's plenty of areas to improve upon. Um, I, you know, I think ultimately we, we, we left some chances out there that we should have taken. Um, I think our ball speed could have been a bit quicker, uh, and ultimately we conceded a, a couple that we wouldn't want to do. So there's always things to work upon, but I think ultimately there was a, there was a couple of steps forward. What about the pace of the game? At times it seemed very slow. Is that what you would have wanted or was uh, was that out of your hands? No, I, I ideally would have liked our rook speed to have been a bit quicker than where it was. Um, I think the the nature of the game tactically, when you watch what Italy do, when that game opens up and they bring their pace into it, then they're a real dangerous threat. So I think tactically there's some really um, strong elements from our team. But ultimately, I, I think our, our rook speed could have been a bit quicker than where it was. When we look at the changes you made, they had a huge impact on that game. Ollie Lawrence, a man of the match performance. Owen Farrell looked very comfortable indeed. Henry Slade and, of course, Jack Willis as well. When you see those changes and you see how the players react, that must give you great heart. Yeah, well, I think you also saw some players that came off the bench there. And the way um, Alex and Henry combined late on there uh, for another score I think that was also a positive as I say we pick a team the way we want to play for the, for the game against the opposition we want to play we want to build a squad here that is strong that we, we can players can go in players can go out but at the very centre of it the team always keeps a high level performance and that's what we've got to work towards Oli Chesham crossed for a try he saved Owen Farrell in the middle of a fight as well he's turning into quite a player isn't he? Yeah, well, I think um, obviously Batesy models himself on yourself, on you, I think. Um, <laughs> Not if there's a point around. No, no, no. Um, yeah, he's, he's a young player who's desperate to do well. Uh, I think you'll say, I thought Mario Toje played his best games for England today for, 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 for a period of time. So, as I said, there's plenty to work upon, but I think we saw some, some growth there. We've seen gradually our, our set piece, there's a bit more strength in our set piece, but still, it's still got a long way to go. You know, ultimately, we, we'd, uh, that last scrum was disappointing, the poor, poor scrum at the end. So, I think, as I say again, some players are taking a step forward, I think, these last couple of weeks. We want to make sure that we, we continue to take a step forward this week because we, we've got no game, but we want to make sure we take another step forward. Well, many congratulations today. Thanks for your time, Steve. Thank you very much.